Henry gets it wrong. The Sodor wishing tree is a very old tree. It's older than Edward, older than Sir Handel, it's even older than Sir Topham Hatt. Some say it is the oldest thing on the island. All the engines and children love to make wishes whenever they see the tree, especially Henry. He thinks the wishing tree is magical. He whistles whenever he passes. One day, Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds with some very bad news. A summer storm struck Sodor last night. The wishing tree was hit by lightning. All the engines were upset. Henry the most upset of all. Some special woodsmen are arriving at Brendam Docks. Henry, you are to take them to the wishing tree right away. Henry knew this was an important job. They have to be back at Brendam Docks by tea time. That's when their boat leaves. Yes, sir. And Henry puffed away as fast as he could. He chuffed towards Brendam Docks. At a junction, Henry decided to take the track that passed the wishing tree. Henry arrived at the wishing tree. It wasn't standing tall anymore. Some leaves were gone and some branches were broken. Sometimes, Henry, special woodsmen have to cut trees down. Oh, no! Now Henry was even more upset. Henry took the track to Brendam. His boiler bubbled and his steam sighed. But then he had to stop. Toby was blocking the line. He had snapped a piston rod. Oh dear, I can't get to Brendam if the track is blocked. Then Henry had an idea. If all the tracks were blocked, no one would be able to get to the tree, he thought. Then no one would be able to cut the tree down. I'll take your freight cars for you, Toby. He buffed it up to Toby's freight cars. Toby's driver coupled Henry to the freight cars. Henry pumped his piston and he chuffed back down the track to the wishing tree. Then Henry saw Thomas at a signal. He had a long line of empty cars to take to the quarry. I'll take your freight cars for you, Thomas. Thomas happily agreed. So Henry reversed onto Thomas's track. And he slowly weeshed away. <laughs> 